Thomas Hanna said there's this condition called sensory motor amnesia. It is the loss of voluntary control of a muscle group and its synergists. That's the technical you know, definition he gave to it. But it's a loss of, 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 of awareness of what, of, of, of what the, the way that your muscles can move, or excuse me, how they feel and then how they move. So your brain can no longer accurately sense um, muscles, movement patterns, and, and you become just tighter and tighter and tighter, right? So it's, it's the same thing that I was looking at as a massage therapist. Same thing that my rolfer was looking at because I, I loved rolfing. I did a lot of rolfing. Um, same thing that, that physical therapists are looking at post-surgery is, is, you know, hey, this person's gait is off. Let's just stretch and strengthen, right? So we're all kind of looking at, at sensory motor amnesia and not really knowing what that is, but it's truly just a, a loss of voluntary sensation and control of our movement from the inside out. So he says, okay, well, wait a second, but sensory motor amnesia, he was seeing it was showing up in very specific, predictable full body patterns. And those patterns were the stress reflexes, which were codified a very long time ago in, um, you know, geez, I think late 1800s, there are pictures of, you know, psychiatrists have pictures of, of people, um, you know, their, their body positioning, you know, this person's aggressive, or this person is, is withdrawn and fearful and traumatized. Well, these pictures um, are really pictures of stress reflexes. The Landau, the green light, the startle, the red light, and then the gallant reflex, the trauma reflex. 